Shocking and bizarre new details are being revealed tonight about the final days of convicted sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein. The Associated Press obtained secret prison records that show Epstein's struggle with life behind bars, leading to his suicide in a Manhattan jail. The records also reveal the strange news that Epstein wrote a letter in prison to another high-profile pedophile, Larry Nasser. Larry Nasser is the former teen doctor of the U.S. gymnastics team convicted of sexually abusing young female athletes. The letter to Nasser was found returned to sender in the New York prison mailroom weeks after Epstein's death. It was not opened. Its contents are unknown. A memo suggests Epstein's struggle with mental health the night before his death. It states he excused himself from a meeting with his lawyers to, quote, call his mother, who had been dead for 15 years. We're also seeing a timeline of the morning of Epstein's death that shows that at 6.33 a.m., the staff found Epstein unresponsive in his cell, and that at 6.45 a.m., no pulse found. To help break all this down, we're joined now by investigative journalist Vicki Ward, who's been covering the Epstein story for years. Vicki, it's great to have you on the show. You knew Jeffrey Epstein well. You spent a lot of time talking to him for a profile that you wrote in Vanity Fair. What jumps out to you as you read these newly released records? Thanks for having me, Elizabeth. I think what you see uh, in these new reports is a man waking up suddenly to the harsh reality that he cannot buy his way out of this after a lifetime of doing precisely that. Um, you see here, you know, in the reports I noticed, he asked if he could wear a special sort of prison outfit, right? Mm -hmm. A brown uniform. Um, you know, this is a guy who's used to special treatment he's used to his money and his connections getting him what he wants and protecting him and i think you see you know the details you mentioned that the toilet that couldn't be fixed in his cell drip dripping uh, no it was running i mean apparently he was so agitated he was unable to sleep complaining incessantly about the toilet that wouldn't stop running and as you just said he was upset that he was forced to wear an orange prison jumpsuit so every day that he met with his lawyers for these marathon meetings he would insist on wearing a brown jumpsuit he was desperate in the end he was desperate and to your point you know he had all these ailments and i'm assuming he couldn't you know he didn't have high profile doctors on hand uh to fix all this i also think it's really interesting that uh he told his lawyers that he was going to fall, uh, phone his mother who as you point out had been dead for 15 years because what often gets uh sort of in a way omitted from conversations about Jeffrey Epstein, given his horrible sexual crimes, is what an extraordinary con artist he was in his own plutocratic class. Mm. He didn't just take advantage of female children. Uh, you know, he was a brilliant con artist in the salons of billionaires. He stole money from uh, his quote unquote clients, guys like Leslie Wexner, who didn't, you know, talk about this till years later. And you see, even with his back against the wall, he's been denied bail. He's already tried to commit suicide. He's been put in solitary confinement he still is acting and he's kind of believable because he gets taken out of solitary confinement and his lawyers apparently don't query the fact he's phoning his mother till long after the fact when it's too late it's you know the, the guy was um a sociopath but yeah. he was he was extra he was he uh, you know he was extraordinarily good at it vicky why do you think he wrote to dr larry nasser well look i mean who knows but i have reported this and several people who knew jeffrey epstein very well have i you know said this publicly that he believed that again in the special universe that Jeffrey Epstein thought he lived in where rules didn't apply that his sexual sickness 
sort of would be allowed. He would point to dictionaries that had uh, abuse of children. Uh, there was a special term for it. And he would, you know, he wanted to somehow rationalize his awful criminality. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's really fascinating, actually. That yeah, he that wrote. he was reaching out to somebody else accused of this similar kind of crime. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.